When names like Ovai and Weborite are mentioned, the beginning of aviation is often the thought that follows, but history is changing and it may be time to introduce another name into the conversation. Meet Charles Frederick Page. When the names Orville and Wilbur Wright are mentioned, the beginning of aviation is often the thought that follows. But history is changing and it may be time to add another name to that conversation. He's doing something that virtually no other person in world history did. And he did it here in Pineville. Meet Charles Frederick Page, a black man born into slavery that taught himself how to read and write, but more impressively, according to local historian Michael Wynn, patented the first airship. It's a story that it truly is unbelievable, and not only unbelievable that it happened, unbelievable that it's being ignored until 2023. Wynn has uncovered local newspaper articles and reports from 1904 recording the outstanding feat of flight by a black man and his airship. His research even further led him to find Charles F. Page's patent predates that of the Wright brothers. I think Page deserves that whenever the Wright brothers are mentioned, Page should also be mentioned to some extent in our national history books. The innovative accomplishments of Page are not only confirmed by historical record, but have lived on through family lore, and Joseph Page, Frederick's grandson, is glad his accomplishments are finally being recognized. Well, my grandfather was finally being recognized for his contribution to aviation. It's a significant event, not just for our family, but I think for Central Louisiana. The city of Pineville unveiled a historical landmark in honor of Frederick Page on the land that he and his family have owned since he purchased it over a hundred years ago. Pineville Mayor Rich Dupree has known the Page's name since the early 2000s for economic additions to the property, and now he shares the unveiling of history with them. We, we need to remember where we come from, and history uh, is uh, unveiled today in a very special way in the city of Pineville. History for Central Louisiana is changing, and Joseph Page hopes it changes elsewhere as well. You, know, you hear about uh, the invention of the airplane, you mean it's like about Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, and the Wright Brothers. But you never heard of Charles Frederick Page and Pineville, Louisiana. Now, Pineville has a historical marker honoring Charles Frederick Page for his innovation and contributions to the community of Pineville. As for the airship Page patented in 1906, there is no surviving model because as Page was sending his model to St. Louis for a world convention, Wynn says it was presumably destroyed. It was shipped and something happened. Now due to the Jim Crow prejudice of the time, we firmly believe that it was stolen and destroyed. After the destruction of the airship, Page changed route due to the racial obstacles of the time and reportedly went about his life no longer pursuing aviation excellence, but rather excellence for his community and family, including future descendants like Daryl Davidson. Meet Charles Frederick Page, a black man born into slavery that taught himself how to read and write. But more impressively, according to local historian Mark Wine, patent the first airship. It is a story that is truly unbelievable and not only unbelievable that it's happened unbelievable that it has been ignored until 2023. Long before the Wright brothers became synonymous with human flight, there was a visionary whose dream of the sky remained unsung in popular history. Charles F. Page, an inventor from a humble background, was captivated by the idea of soaring above the clouds. The son of a carpenter, Page grew up in America, passing with the bid of the Industrial Revolution, a time ripe for innovation and bold thinkers. Why the Wright brothers allowed it for the historical flight in 1903? Page's conceptual groundwork was laid decades earlier as a meticulously crafted designs for a flying machine. Unlike the Wright, who were bicycle makers by trade, Page was a dreamer by nature. His family, supportive yet grounded, despite the skepticism he faced, Page persisted, driven by a belief that human flight would one day transcend fiction and enter the realm of reality. Page successfully secured a patent for his flying machine in 1904 having invented in three years before the Wright brothers' patent was secured. Page planned to introduce his airplane at the 1904 World Fair in St. Louis. He paid for space to have his patent on exhibit at the World Fair, but unfortunately, his airplane never made it to St. Louis. His daughter, Eva Page, publicly claimed that her father's invention was stolen in transit to St. Louis. She went on the record to state that her father never attempted to create a replacement 
and offered insight into where his inspiration came from, the Mosquito Orc. Charles F. Page's legacy is not just in the patent he fied or the drawings he left behind, it is woven in the very fabric of astronautical history. He was a man ahead of his time, a pioneer who dared to conceive of a world where humans could glide alongside beds, making him as much as a part of the history of flight as the Wright brothers themselves. Yet, Page's contribution extends beyond his aeronautical designs. His life's work stands as a testament to the enduring spirit of innovation, a spirit that continues to influence new generations of thinkers and creators. He deserves to be remembered not just as a footnote in history, but a historic pioneer whose foresight paved the runaway for the Wright brothers and all who took to the skies thereafter. We celebrate pioneers like Page not solely for their invention, but for their indelible impact on human progress.